All right, guys, so today we're going over 10-2, which is measures of angles and arcs. We've got a whole bunch of vocab for you. A central angle uh, of a circle is an angle with a vertex in the center of the circle. Its sides contain two radii of the circle. An arc is a portion of a circle defined by two endpoints. A central angle separates the circle into two arcs with measures related to the measure of the central angle. A minor arc is the shortest arc connecting two endpoints on a circle. A minor arc measures is less than 180 degrees. A major arc is the longest arc connecting two endpoints on a circle. A major arc contains between measures between 180 and 360 degrees. A semicircle is an arc with endpoints that lie on a diameter, so a semicircle measures exactly 180 degrees. Congruent arcs are arcs in the same or congruent circles that have the same measure. Adjacent arcs are arcs in a circle that have exactly one point in common or are right next to each other. Arc lengths are our length is arc length is the distance between two the endpoints along an arc measured in linear units. So angle ABC is a central angle here because you got B in the center. This is an arc. This is another arc. And here's another example of adjacent arcs it would be HJ and JK. The sum of central angles. So angle one plus angle two plus angle three would equal 360. And then for the next one, we have in the same circle or in congruent circles, two minor arcs are congruent if and only if their central angles are congruent. So angle one is congruent to angle two, then F arc FG is congruent to arc HJ and vice versa. Here are our arcs. A minor arc is the shortest arc connecting two endpoints on a circle. A major arc is the longest arc connecting two endpoints on a circle. So in this one, I should have said this, but in this one, so arc AB would be equal to angle AB, ACB, which is also equal to X. The measure of the major arc is greater than 180 the equ and equal to 360 minus the measure of the minor arc with the same endpoints. So arc ADB, the big one, the major arc, would equal 360 minus arc AB or 360 minus X. A semicircle is 180 degrees every single time. All right, the arc addition postulate. Uh, arc XYZ is equal to arc XY plus arc YZ. Arc length, the ratio of the length of an arc L to the circumference of the circle is equal to the ratio of the degree measure of the arc to 360. So L over two pi R will equal X over 360 or L will equal X over 360 times 2 pi R. So finding the value of X, if we're trying to find this value of X, first of all, we know every circle's at uh, degrees are 360. So I just do 360 minus 130 minus 60 will equal X. So I get 170 degrees equals X. On number two, we're doing the same concept these arcs are marked, or these angles are marked congruent, so we know this is 35 and 35. We know this is 140. We know the whole circle is 360, so I just do 360 minus 140 minus 35 minus 35 equals X. So I get 150 degrees equals X. HK and IG are diameters of circle L. Identify each arc as a major arc, minor arc, or semicircle, then find its measure. I, H, that's weird. I, H, J, so we're going all the way around here. It's going to be a major arc. And since we're going all the way around here, we just do 360 minus 90. which is equal to 270 degrees. It's a major arc at 270 degrees. HI is gonna be a minor arc because it's gonna be less than 180. And it is gonna equal 59 degrees because that's what they gave us. 59 degrees, that means this is 59. And the last one, HGK, HGK, that is a semicircle. which is always 180 degrees. 
All right. For, to find oh, the graph shows the results of a survey taken by diners relating what is most important about the restaurants where they eat. So find arc AB. Arc AB is right here. So AB is right here. It is 22% of the full 360. So I asked you 360 times 0 0.22 or 22%, which is equal to 79.2, and then it's degrees. BC is this guy right here. Oh, got a little wild on me. BC's right here, it is 8%. So I do 360 times 0 0.08 or eight degrees. And that is 28.8 degrees. And then describe the type of arc that the category great food represents. Great food is, food is all this. So that is going to be a major arc because it is larger than 180. QS is a diameter of circle V, find the measure. So STP, STP is this guy right here. So we're just gonna add 75 plus 72. And that is gonna equal 147 degrees. QRT is gonna be here and on all the way around to right here. So what I did for QRT, I did 90, because we're gonna have 90 here, so we got 90 here. 90 plus 90 plus 75. And that's gonna equal 255 degrees. And the reason I know this is 90 right here as well is because this is a semicircle. It tells me QS is a diameter. So it cuts the circle right in half. So this half, this whole half is 180. 90 minus 180 is 90, or 180 minus 90 is 90. And then the last one, P, Q, R, so we've got this guy right here. Same kind of concept to find this angle right here. I just did 180 minus 72 minus 75, which is 33, okay? So all I did was 90 plus 33. That equals 123 degrees. And then find the length of JK around to the nearest hundredth. So finding JK, so we're trying to find this guy right here. So we're using our formula from up here, our arc length, the L over two pi R equals X over 360. So L over two pi R equals x over 360. Um, r is a radius. So our radius is going to be on this one 7.5 because it's half of 15. So L over 2 pi 7.5. x in our formula is the degrees we're talking about. So 105 over 360. Then we're going to cross multiply. So I've got 360 L equals, and then if I multiply 360 times two times 7.5, I get 15.75 and then still times pi. I multiply 15.75 times pi, I get 4,948 divided by 360. So my L is 13.74 centimeters. And that is all for 10-2.